Welcome or welcome back to any help at Cisco. In this example, we have a line M given, present by this equation. We need to find the equation of a line N that is parallel to N and goes through negative 2 and 4. And you notice here we have a theorem that says two lines are parallel if and only if the line have the same slope. So I'm going to start with line M, which, as I said, is given to us in this form, y equals negative 3x plus 1, which is the slope-intercept form. And that means we can find the slope very fast. This is the slope-intercept form by just getting the number that you see here, negative 3, because M stands for the slope, B stands for the y-intercept. So the slope of line M will be negative 3, and I'm going to call this one M1, right? The slope of line M is M1. And now I'm going to move to line N. Line N is going to have the same slope. Line N is going to have the same slope because they are parallel lines. So I'm going to call that slope M2. And that will be, like I, as I said, negative 3 also, like this one. And also we know about this line that goes through the point negative 2 and 4. So that means we have enough information to write the equation of this line, because we know the slope, we know the point. And we have two choices. We can use this form and replace the y with 4, x with negative 2, and m with negative 3, and solve for b. Or we can use... This form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This is called the point slope form. Which means if you know a point and the slope, you can use it and you can get the equation. And let's take a look to this problem. We know the point. This is the point. And I'm going to mark x1 and y1. We know the slope m uh, sub 2, negative 3, so we can write the equation now by just replacing uh, y1 with 4, m with negative 3, and x1 with negative 2. So from here is nothing else than algebraic step. The first step I will do it is to simplify inside of the parentheses where we have double negative, that becomes positive. Then I'm going to use the distributive property. We have y minus 4 equals negative 3x minus 6. We're going to add 4 on both sides. And we have y equals negative 3x minus 2. The equation of line n that one that is parallel of line M, right? This is the notation. Very important to remember that also. And goes through negative 2 and 4 is y equals negative 3x minus 2. You can see a graphical approach here. The first line on the right, this one is line M. And you see that slope of negative 3 and the y-intercept of 1. And this one is line N, you know, that goes through negative 2 and 4, and you notice it has the same uh, slope of negative 3. And uh, you can kind of guess the intercept is going to be here at negative 2. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.